coronavirus survival, coronavirus shut-in survival, episode one. I'm not shut in yet. I'm still at the office, but things are getting a little bleaker. And the possibility that they're going to be closing the office, the actual building is getting higher and higher. So here's something that you can do. Somebody's already leaving me a comment. Hello. Hey, David. I like to play online spades. It's one of my favorite. Hey, John B. One of my favorite uh, pastimes, especially if I'm, you know, really stressed out at work. So if you're stressed out at home, time to learn how to play spades. If you do know how to play spades, I forget what this one's called. VIP spades. You can connect it to your Facebook. And that's what I've done. And I, you can't pick people to play, I don't think. Maybe you can invite somebody to the game. I've never done that before. We're going to play solo. Now, solo, you're going to be uh, – you're playing for yourself. Most spades is designed to be like bridge – um, where you have a partner on the other side. Now, the goal is all of the, the deck, if you don't know how to play, the whole deck is dealt to everyone. So that means four players. What is that? Um, 12, 13, 13 cards each. And with your 13 cards, you have to predict how many everyone throws in a card at a time, the four people at a table. And you have to predict how many tricks you think you're going to get. And a trick is simply when you have the best card on the table. Now, the absolute best cards are the spades. That's why it's called spades. The spades allow you to trump, hey, Donald Trump, everyone else's cards. So it's always the high card on the table wins. But let's say that you, there's a heart and somebody, and I don't have any hearts, and somebody uh, put you, puts uh, an ace of hearts, starts with the hearts, and they think, oh, man, I can, you can bet they counted that as one, that ace, because it's the highest one. But I don't have one. So let's say I have a deuce of spades, the lowest spade. Ace is the highest. I can throw my deuce. That person with the ace is like, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Because what they, they, they counted that ace and their, their predicted number of tricks they were going to get, they're in trouble. So... We'll watch. I'm going to play for uh, 10,000 of these fake. It's fake money. It's not real. And I'm going to play. We're going to look for a game as I continue to. If I, if I can't find a game here, then I'll go to a lower level. Maybe I'll find one and continue to kind of. Hopefully you got the idea of how this thing goes. For me, this is. Um, there's like hearts. Hearts is a good game. And I think the first game that I discovered is hearts. And I can't even remember how to play that, to be honest. Um, I think the, the idea of the game was to get as many hearts as you could or something. I'm not sure. But in this game, it's just, especially if you, let's say you're shut in, it could be real life if you have a deck of cards. You need four. Unfortunately, at my house, there's only three of us. Um, I'm trying to think if there was any way that you could play. No, there's no way. I mean, somebody could play two hands, I guess. No, because then you know what the other your other uh, person has. That's not fair. So if you have four people at home, you can play this with a deck of cards. It's the same concept. This is taking way too long. So let me try one more time because usually the competition's a little bit better at the 10,000 level. And if I can't find something here in the next... 20 seconds and I'll try the 20,000 and if I can't get there then we'll go to the lowest level but it's it's a fun game and not enough people know it I don't think in fact in my circle whenever I talk about how I like to play spades um, no one knows it's popular like dominoes in the black community actually so when my brother was married to a black woman they played spades they knew spades and they were impressed that I could play it well. And I was playing with my sister-in-law, I think, against her brother and one other person. And um, we were tearing it up. They were surprised at how good I was. And I was good because 
I played a ton online. All right. Last time we're going to go 20,000. This is with the coronavirus. This should be pretty easy to find a group to play a game. Here we go. So as soon as you see that happen, now we're getting our game going. So now that you know how to play it, hopefully you can see well enough. Maybe I can expand this just a little bit, but it might interfere with my ability to see the comments. So I don't see, uh, I have the dealer chip. You can see on the very bottom down there, this is me. And so this person predicts they're going to have five. At the dealership, I'm the last one to have to decide. So I can count. The maximum number of tricks is 13. So you, you add, right now there's five and two, and they're not my partner. We're playing solo. So this is all me by myself. So I'm not trying to help my partner. Now, 10 is on the table. Now, when I look, I don't have great cards here. In fact, I have a potential to get zero, which is called a nil, and you get 100 points if you get it. This one's the trouble. So I have one with this king, queen, I think. And maybe one because I only have two there. My time is running out. I might take a gamble and I'm going to try and. Oh, too much time. I was going to go zero, but it gave me one. I was actually going to try and get a nil. It didn't give me enough time. So, eight, nine, 10. There's 11 on the table, which means now here's the thing with bags. They call it bags. If you go over your predicted bid, you get a bag. So you can see that in the cover, on the corner, rather. And five bags, I think it – oh, no, is it five or ten? I think it's five in this game. So you get – in normal game, it's ten, I think. You get five bags here, you lose a uh, 100 points. Pretty big deal. So you see I used the spade there. Now, spades are broken. You cannot throw a spade until the spades are broken. Now, with the idea of me trying to – get people to lose their spades because I got my one bid. Now I'm going to throw a spade to see if we can set somebody. And that means somebody who, and I'm going to take a bag here for the chance that we can set somebody. If I can set somebody, then they lose their bid times 10. So this person C. Noonan on my left, he bid five. Right now he's got three of the five. If he doesn't get his five, that's minus 50 which is a pretty big deal. So the goal here, you can see in solo in the upper left corner is the first one to 400. No one gets 400 in these 10. The first of 400 wins. I'm going to try and bag again, but he has a spade, so he gets it. He's at four. This person bagged two. This person here has predicted two, and they just, wow, this person's bagged twice in order to set Brenda. Oh, come on. We got to get one. We're going to get one of them. But I think C. Noonan has the last spade. Yeah. So C. Noonan gets to 50. But because Brenda here at the top, she predicted two but only got one, minus 20. Because you get your bags add your points too. So even though I bid one, you get your bid times 10. I bid one, got 10, and I bagged one plus one is 11 points. So I'm at 11. The leader is 50. Deb girl 32 and minus 20 for Brenda. This is a 10 round game. Not many folks watching. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, I don't have a huge popular channel here, John, but maybe someone when they see coronavirus and I'll tag it, will look for something to do. And, you know, if we meet in person one day, you'll know how to play. So I have one, because there's only two here, two, maybe three, but that king probably won't count, but I'm going to go three anyway to push my luck. Because I have two in two different suits, if you have two, usually that means you can probably use your spade in each of those because most people have at least three. So I'm going to get my one there for sure. I'll go to hearts right now because the fact that Brenda threw clubs makes me think that maybe she just has one club. We'll find out. Uh-oh. So that, see, you could see that king, not counting that king was a good thing, because even if Brenda used an ace first and I had the king, I was not going to be able to get that. Maybe I can later, though, because the spades will eventually run out. So now there's only, I only had two hearts. Let's see if I can get my 
trump this. All right, there's a spade. Second spade. Oh, but I just got trumped. This, I think that's four spades are out. So I'm going to dump my club there because C. Noonan is going to use another spade, presumably. No, or he's trying to trump me. Fine, buddy. Uh oh. I'm in trouble now because there's 13 on the board. I lost count of the spades, too. You want to count 13. Let's see what C. Noonan's going to do. C. Noonan has ace king, probably, so I'm in trouble right now. I'm going to get trumped. That's why I like to play at the higher levels because uh, they're good players. He'll throw king now. Oh, no. But he has the king, I think. If he doesn't, we're both going to get trumped. But I think he has the king, so he'll be fine, and I only get one. No. All right, we both get trumped. But the, the benefit of that is Brenda, she just got two bags. So I'm not far out, but I'm minus 19 right now. So I'm at the bottom of the table on that. And I did say that I was pushing my luck on the three. I thought maybe it'd be two, but even if I put two, I was going to end up getting trumped. Payback, though, is a you-know-what. Deb Girl goes three. This is a good hand. It's probably two on this, one here, three because of this two, four, five. I got at least six here. So this is my comeback. Somebody's probably going to go nil or zero. They're going to bid zero, and they get 100 points. 11 on the board. Brenda's probably the nil. And if she doesn't, nope. 13 on the board. Somebody's going to get set, and I don't think it's going to be me, except for the fact that Noonan just threw a jack, which might mean he doesn't have any more diamonds, and I counted that king of diamonds. We'll find out, Noonan. Do you have a spade? Nope. That's looking good now, bro. So I'm going to. Throw a queen, knowing I have the three highest, I'm going to throw the lowest to see if somebody has no clubs. All right. So there's two. I'm going to throw the heart because now if anyone throws a heart or if anyone throws a diamond, I can trump them. And I won't look bad if somebody trumps this one because I'll pretend that I didn't have ace king, although they should know. Come on, Deb. You have a spade? I think you do. No. And now I'll just throw this knowing somebody's going to have a spade for sure. Remember, there's 13. So there's one. That's one. So one spade. I should be able to get this. Two, three, four. And you can see me now. I'm probably going to set Brenda. Five. Because there's only one here. I got my bid for sure. Queen of spades is the only thing that will beat me out there. So I've got at least three. Brent, I think everyone's going to get their bid. Unless Brenda, right now I can get Brenda to throw her queen of spades. No. She's got it. So she'll get her bid and I'll get our bid and everyone gets their team. There's her queen. But I know that the ten is the highest and the last spade available. I got my six. No one got set, which is not good for me because I had the lowest score. But I did have a good. So now you've seen I've caught up. I got 41 points. Uh, Deb girl at 93, but she has three bags, two more bags, and she'll lose 100. Or sorry, 50. In this game, it's 50. And we start the fourth round. I got one, two, three, and I think I can get a fourth because of two clubs. They don't give you a lot of time to figure it out, so I can't. Uh, spend a lot of time explaining. This is still kind of tough because if if somebody starts leading spades, I don't have many spades. Before I can trump the clubs, I'm in super trouble. There's 10 on the board right now. Deb Girl, if she bids three, I'm probably in trouble. She bid four? Okay. I'm going to start the hearts and hopes I get this. Okay. I should get this. And I need the hope that somebody's going to throw uh, – I'm not going to throw the club yet. I'm going to mix it up. <sighs> I 
there's the first spade broken. So that's one. That's a good throw. Now he needs to throw another club for me. And he did. Let me hope no one else. Ah, see, but she threw a six. I'm going to get her here. So that's three that are put up. Three, and I think I'm going to get Trump again. Darn Trump. If somebody leads with the, uh, that's, I think, five spades now. Don't lead spades. Smart move. Come on. Don't have a spade. Shoot six, seven. I'm in trouble. Oh, she let it go. Good. I got my bid. Eight, nine, ten. Dev Girl's a smart player. Eleven. There's only two more spades to go, and she probably has both of them. Is the hope. Nope. Deb Girl, who is leading, is going to get set. Sweet. I got a bag. Now I'm at 82. I lead. My two bags put me ahead of C. Noonan, who has 80. So that's how quick the game can switch. If anyone wants to join. Hey, what's up, uh, Bruce? I'll pop this in. All right. Fifth round of 10. I'm up by two. I would say I'm a, I'm a, I hate to say like expert player because I'm sure, sure that there's something that I don't know and I don't win every time. Oh, this is a good hand. So I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five. This could be six stretching it. I'm going to go for five to be safe. Nine, 10, 11, 12 total on the board. I would have been pushing. Uh, 13. When you push 13, especially if you're the last bid, that's a tough one. You'll see that I played my queen there because that was the highest one. I was a good position so that now I can beat a king. If he throws a heart, I still can beat the king. And now that king is probably that somebody counted is probably going to get trumped. And right now I've got my bid for sure. So let me see if I do a bag or two. No, see, and they think that they're all snarky, that I counted that king. I've got my, if you look at the ace king here, I've got my five bit already. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and get uh, Noonan. See if I can block Noonan. And now I'm going to get a bag. I'm going to throw my two here. And I would have gotten uh, the six that I originally wanted the bid. But now my goal, now Noonan has no more spades. My goal is to get him to lose 10 points there. See, he had the king of hearts. That I, Oh, maybe Brenda's going to lose it too. I don't want any more bags. I have three. All right, Deb Girl got her bid. Noonan got his bid. And Brenda's going to be the one to get knocked down. Deb girl gets another bag though. And she's now second. She has four bags. One more bag. She loses 50. I still have just three. So that could really extend my lead. Although C. Noonan follows closely behind with 90. I have 133 now. It's round six of 10. And I hope this seems fun to you. To me, this is awesome. Doesn't cost you any money. <clears throat> Gives you something to do. If you're locked in at home, this could be a zero bid, but because I've got the lead, you lose 50 points. If you don't get it, I'm going to go one because uh, I don't want to take that chance. Uh, I, I can definitely make because of only two hearts that could get me this one of the spades and that king could be one too. Now, if the king is available to throw out, before I get used the spades, and I'll do that and just throw something other than a spade if the hearts run out. There's 13 on the table. I need somebody to throw. Hopefully, C. Noonan has a queen, then I'm in trouble. Good. Now, hopefully, right here, I have to use up. 
let's see, there's the trump. But the so my king, I'm not going to throw that yet. I'm going to preserve it just in case. I have to hope that somebody starts throwing hearts. So that's two spades thrown out. There's the heart. I need him to throw another heart, Brenda. Heart. No. Now she's trying to trump me. Four, five, six, seven. Now I could get screwed. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's a queen out there. That king of diamonds, though, really might help me. And it will. So I'm going to throw out the jack. Somebody has the queen. And now no spades are left. So now we'll see the battle with Deb Girl and see Noonan. And maybe Noonan got his bid, but maybe he can get another bag. He has no bags. Oh, and there was another spade. I miscounted. So now see Noonan with his four bid, and the bag is slightly behind me, two bids behind me. Because of my three bags, I'm up by 12, which means that he has to get two to pass me. And this is a good one. One, two, three, four, five, six is a possibility, but she bid four. I'm going to go five. I want to entice by not going all the way six to make sure that somebody doesn't nil. Brenda probably has a nil here. Not bid one. So there's 13 on the board. This is a good group of players because if usually in most cases you have maybe 11, which leaves two bags, but these people know what they're doing. So here's where I can get in trouble. That queen is scary that she just threw, uh, that Brenda threw, because that could mean my king of diamonds that I counted is going to get knocked out. We'll find out right now. No, it's good. I counted this king of hearts. Hopefully that doesn't get trumped. And if it doesn't, I'm looking, ah, Brenda trumped it. It's the first spade. Now I'm in trouble. Oh, but she's throwing that. Two, three, and that's smart to try and get people to lose because they count them. So two, three, four, I'm going to throw the highest card. Six, again, seven, looking to see if somebody throws a queen now. Eight, nine, that queen is still out there. So now I'm going to throw this. They got Trump before. That queen's still out there. Uh, I can't remember if the ace was thrown. Okay, now I'm good. So once I see the queen of spades go and I don't throw it out, uh-oh. I'm not touching the spades yet. Oh, uh, see Noonan. Ah, I blew it. There's the queen, and I think there's one more spade. Oh, no. Come on. Sweet. Everyone got their bid. Noonan, who was close behind, he didn't get his bid, rather. So now he lost 50 points. Uh, Deb lost 50 points because they went to, to five bags, and now I've extended my lead with three rounds to go at 193. That king is going to prevent me from going nil. I'm just going to say one, and I'll probably get set. But when you're at 193 and you lose 10 points, 183, I'm still substantially in the lead. Nine on the table. She'll probably go four. Three at the worst, I bet. This is a good group, like I said. She's counting three or four. You don't have a nil, I know that. Come on, Deb girl. Deb girl is sad. What? She went nine to, all right, we're at 13. So my hope now is we can see, I'm going to probably get set unless somebody throws two clubs in a row right now. But with that king of spades, once the ace is gone, you know your nil is done. You're going to lose 50 points. It's too risky. Way too risky, especially when you have a lead like this. If, if it's a last Hail Mary effort and it's the last round and you're down by 30 points, you have to, but you're probably going to lose it. How about a club? No. I need somebody to throw a club right now. There it is. Now, fingers crossed. 
that I don't get beat by an ace. I got my one. So now I'm fine. I didn't get set. And I don't care what happens now because now I've got over 200. The best that can happen against me is Brenda can get to 162. And I don't want to bag anymore. I've got three. So now it's just about how Brenda got hers. Let's see if everyone gets their bid. Deb got hers. It's Noonan. Noonan got set again. Brenda gets a bag. She has three. She's 40 behind me. And the rest are kind of <clears throat> almost out of contention. Two more rounds to go. Sister Sunshine loves to play spades. And John says, I'm making it look deceptively easy. I've played a 1,000 of these games, at least. So i played for a long time. This is on Facebook, Sister Sunshine. It's uh, VIP Spades. I, I'd love if we were in the same uh, game to be able to do that, but I don't think we can. And this is solo Spades. But of all the Spades games I've played online, VIP Spades is uh, the best. I mean, there's, there's just no doubt. This is I could try and nil right here. Because I don't have any uh, clubs, but there's four spades, which is tough. So I'm going to go – I could do two. I'll stretch two. And you see there's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 now and 13. When somebody throws a club, they're going to be upset. The two is pushing my luck. But right here, Brenda counted that. Brenda's my competition. Now she's going to go, uh-oh. And I have to hope, Brenda, if she's smart or somebody that wants me to lose – is going to throw spades because they'll know that I, I I've relied on not having any clubs. Throwing spades right now is the, the right move to try and get me to get set and lose 20 points. That'd be the best thing for Brenda to do. I'd love to see Brenda, if she's smart, throw a spade right now. Now she has two. She didn't. So she's hurting right now then, I guess. And they're trying not to throw that club because they know that I'll get my second. Now, if Deb, uh, let's see who's going to be throw me this. Noonan is not very smart. Noonan just gave me my bid. And now I'm going to try and set Brenda by throwing spades, doing what I think Brenda probably should have done. I don't want any bags if I can prevent it. So right now I could take this, but I don't want bags. And C. Noonan has 71. I don't care whether uh, Noonan gets his 50 points with the five bid. Let him. If there's a way to set Brenda, though, I'd be happy. And maybe Deb Girl has a spade, I hope. No. Deb Girl. Looks like you're getting set. Maybe not. I didn't count spades. I don't care now. Noonan got his. And Deb Girl's the one that got set. So Brenda's still right behind. And because I just had two and she had four, she gained 20 points on me. And now heading into the final round, I think this is 10 of 10. or Yeah. Two. I'm only up 20 points. Two bid. And she bids first. So she needs to get. Two more than me right now to tie, three more to win. She bid four. So I, I need at least two to stay in a tie, and hopefully I have three to win. And hopefully it's not even a, a close. Like I want ace, king, queen of spades, and I know I've got my three. I have one, two. I only have two. The two aces. Let's see what happens. And if I get a bag, that bag can be an extra point. So I'll try and get one bag this time. And so will Brenda. If Brenda gets a bag, she can beat me. She throws the club. Now, when she does that, unfortunately, I get my point there. I don't want to throw a club because there's a reason she threw the club. The reason she threw the club, the queen of clubs, is probably because she doesn't have any more. And she wants to use a spade. So I'm not giving her the, the chance. I see C. Noonan throw away a king of hearts right now, though. And I know I'm the highest one. I want Noonan to go ahead and get his trump. Go ahead and use your spade that he probably has if he threw the 
king, and he doesn't. I don't understand. He's trying to help Brenda win. That's the only way to make sense of that. Trying to help Brenda win. Yeah, he's trying to get me to bag, but I've got that bag, which is good. So now, Brenda, in order to beat me, I can win now as long as I don't bag again. Uh-oh, what are you doing, Noonan? Noonan is trying to get her to win. So now I've got to try. So I lose right now. I lose 50 automatically. Noonan maybe is angry at me. I'm going to lose this game. Um... Yeah, Noonan wants Brenda to win. The only thing I can hope for is that Brenda gets two bags. I just don't see it happening right now. And that's a shame because I played really well, but to lose it in the last round, it stinks. She has to get two. It's the only thing I could do right now, and she doesn't. So I send her a nice congratulations message. And she's laughing at me, apparently. But I did the Christian thing, which was to shake her hand non-coronavirus style. And, you know, it's funny for her to laugh because clearly C. Noonan wanted her to win. C. Noonan let go, made me bag out. So I end up with 195. She gets 243. I lost the five points. I should have had 245 or 244 if I didn't get another bag. So I lose. And that's it. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, Ryan, how are you, sir? Are you in lockdown mode right now? Um, if you are, I get the hard part about this and I don't want people to spend money is, you know, to get a lot of money to be able to play this kind of stuff. I think it might give you 10,000 at the start. So you have two 5,000 point games you can play. So this is sort of advertising for them and I don't mean to, but the good news is that when you play this thing in the upper corner here, you get bonuses. And so they'll give you a daily bonus of 5,000. And then you get, as you go on, you can get more to, to play games. And then they have this little scratch card for points, money, and Wheel of Fortune that's uh, throughout the day. So there's ways to play for free, and I play for free. I don't, I don't uh, pay any money to this thing. Uh, but unfortunately, the game, I was playing so well, and I wanted to impress you, the viewer. And I wasn't able to. Sorry, now I'm showing you my Facebook stuff because I'm going to punch. Yeah, Facebook has a ton of games, Sister Sunshine. You didn't know? Because my mom constantly refers me to games that I blocked them. And maybe you got upset many years ago because the invites just are awful. I can try and invite you. And maybe I will, but not exactly this moment right now in case somebody sees your identity, Batgirl. Um, it has plenty of uh, of games, but this is the—I think this is the only game I play on Facebook. No substitute for experience. That's right. But now you you've watched it, and it's it's a good way to try. John B is way too kind. Uh, sure. I hope that everything's well with you, John. I, I hope that everything's well for you that are uh, watching. I did put the link in. I know Bruce was here, and I don't think he came in. So I'll put the link one last time. Otherwise, I'm going to oh, – I, I do need to call a client. So now, darn it, I would stay with you otherwise. So I'm going to call the client, and then maybe we'll be back. Anyone who does a nice tribute to Final Call is okay by me. No, it's kind of you to say. Um, thank you, sir. 
I think we should expect the best about everything, be optimists. And like I posted on my Facebook before, I'm, I'm not going to share my screen now. Look how sloppy I look. Before I talk to my client, this is from Proverbs. I posted it yesterday because it was in my reading and probably not by accident. Um, and I'll read it to you before I go, provided that it will allow me to, because I can't remember what proverb it was as I'm sitting here right now. Internet is super slow. Let me stop sharing. That could be why. There it is. Proverbs 27, 12. The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. So be prudent. Don't panic. There's potential danger. Seek refuge. And it may not be danger for you if you're not in the age group that could potentially get uh, super sick such that the coronavirus could be fatal. But think about others that you may be in contact with. doesn't matter whether it's going to affect you. It matters whether you get it and then you pass it on to somebody else. Uh, I don't know if I should be coming back to the office because I'm sort of feeling a little bit of a sore throat. And again, it could totally be... Um, psychosomatic is that right it could be all in my head and that's one of the problems that i found lately is that everyone's sort of like "Ooh, do i have it i feel a little sick i got a little bit of fever i did that the other day with my wife and she uh took my temperature and it was normal but i felt really hot so it was very very strange anyway god bless you we'll look for some other diversions soon but diversion number one spades it's awesome chat with you later